guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do something a little bit more different. I have received quite a lot of new products and products from brands that I've always wanted to try as well as brands that I adore. I've had new launches, new colour collections coming in. So I thought I would do a little video get ready with me with you guys and try out these new products and review them. So what I'm going to do is just do my normal makeup routine with my primer, foundation, blusher, bronzer, brows, everything like that and where the new products can be fitted in that's where they'll go. So I'm going to chat through it with you guys, review them and let you know what I think of the new products. So some of the brands are like Clarins, Milk, Lime, Beauty Bay, just a mixture so it'll be really interesting to see the results of them and I feel like this would be a good review for you guys for any of you wanting to try any of these products or brands out just to kind of get a review of what I think of them. So let's get into it. So first off I'm going to start off with my primer, this is my normal primer, this is from Bare Minerals, this is the prime time. Okay, so next up is foundation. So the foundations that I am going to be trying are from Clarins. They've sent me three shades over just to try out, so I'm going to see which one suits me the most. So I have 107, 108.5 and 109. This is their foundation called Everlasting Youth Fluid and it's illuminating and firm foundation and it has SPF 15 in it, which is amazing. It's enriched with plants, anti-pollution complex, skin hydration and sun protection. So I'm really excited to try these out. So I'm just going to open the packaging with you. So this is 109. I love these bottles. Look at that, that is so gorgeous and just so elegant. Oh. Okay, so this is 109. I don't know how it's gonna come out. Oh, okay. So it comes with a little pump as well. Okay, so I'm gonna try it on my try it on my jawline. I mean that's quite nice. I think that is more my colour at the moment. It's quite pink, but I will give it a go. The next one I'm going to use is the 108.5. I think that the 107 might be a little bit too bright for me. That's my only concern. Oh, this is really light, so I feel like 107 is going to be even lighter. Oh, no, I'm really loving the smell of it though. These are definitely not my shades. Yeah, I'm going to try 107 to see if it is any brighter. That is really bright. I'm going to show you on my hand. So this is what they look like. So that's 109, 107 and I remember now, maybe that's 109, 108.5 and then 107. So I definitely think I'm going to stick with 109. That's more my colour. However, it is a little bit pink. So I'm just going to go with it. I like the texture of it. Really good coverage. Can you see it covers my spots quite instantly? It smells a dream. I'm a massive fan of Clarins. I just think that they do their products so well. Okay, I'm going to try that for now. I'm just going to blend this in with my beauty blender. So I've just been blending this in with my beauty blender and this probably seems like my face colour. Actually, maybe in the camera it doesn't look good. However, I'm just going to talk about the consistency. Myself and the lovely PR lady from Clarins did say this might not be my colour. However, I'm just going to try the texture and to be fair, I do really like the texture. It's really nice. It's really soft. It's blended in really well. Really good coverage. You don't really need much. I'd say two pumps at least. I mean, it probably is my colour, but it might be a bit too pink for my skin base, but I am really happy with the outcome of it. I love the it's very velvety as well, that's really nice. But yeah, I just would probably go a little bit darker and more of a yellow tone. But overall, I think that's actually a really nice foundation. I'm quite actually happy with the outcome. It probably is my skin colour and probably a good shade, however, I do love going a bit darker because I feel like foundation is... I know it's supposed to kind of just look like your skin anyway, but you want to feel grey and when you put a bit of tan, I just love a bit of a darker, glowy skin tone. So, no, really good, just would go a little bit darker. So next up I would put on my concealer and I am using NARS Radiant Concealer in the shade Custard. And I'm sure you all know this one by now because this is the only concealer 
I really use because I just love it. Okay, now I've put on my concealer, I can really review the foundation a little bit more and it's pretty much the same shade as my concealer so it's nice <laughs> I do really like this foundation I keep repeating myself I do really like it but yeah it's too bright it's too light for my skin color I think it makes me look a bit pasty so next I'm gonna go into brows I love my brow routine at the moment and you know why it's because <laughs> it is so easy so simple so quick and it only has one product and maybe I'd say yeah it'll have to be two brushes well, I guess two products if you count the last one so I'm using this nature by nude brown mascara and this is in the shade 02 brown and this is so gorgeous I love this product so I was trying out the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip pomade brow gel and I did like it however I just really struggled with it I hated the texture it was leaving on my eyebrows it was drying out quite a lot and I've only been using it for a few months now so it, it was a bit of a disappointment because I had heard so many people go on about it but all I do now is just literally just use this product and I brush it through until I feel like the whole brow is covered and I'm happy with the outcome and then I go over with a flat brush with concealer around the edges just to clean it up It's just such an easy quick way to just top up your brows really quickly if you're in a rush and if you're not good at them like me this is such a good technique and I'm just really happy with my eyebrow routine at the moment so I really recommend that so this is the branding I thought I'd quickly show you nude by nature so next up is blushes so I have three products that I need to have a little look at before I go ahead with it on my face so next up is blusher and I'm really excited for this one because these are three new products and actually these are all cream blushes I believe this one is from milk and this is in the shade swish and it's and you're also able to use it for lips and cheeks so that's a really good combo combo product this is really good as well for it's really good packaging as well really easy and it's quite fun it's like a little um like pen to like draw on the next ones are from lime crime and we have the shade Wi-Fi and hyper pink like this so these are also cream blushes as well so really excited to see what these look like so I'm gonna have a look at the colors first and then decide on which one would I actually prefer Wi-Fi is actually really sweet it's like a really nice orange I can see it's a software blush maybe a bit too orange maybe I don't know this is Wi-Fi and this one is hyperlinked so those are really cute and I'm just gonna try out so I'm just gonna try out the milk so finally I got the packaging open so this is milk it's this really bright pink that's actually quite scary oh, okay so you can just place it on your hand really nice texture so that's milk it's a really nice texture and really soft and really nice to blend in that could be really nice on my lips actually and this is this is hyperlink I'm just going to place do a swatch on my hand a bit more of a denser product so that's really nice as well I think I prefer that maybe so that's quite nice as well that was an awful swatch okay so I think I'm gonna go in for a pink I think that orange might be a little bit too orange what I'm going to do is try the milk because I do have a lime crime lipstick that I do want to try out so let's try the pink the milk first because I've heard so much about this brand and they have done it insanely well I'm gonna do like a dab in motion a really nice texture really nice consistency it's not too pigmented as well oh, I really like 
I'm gonna put some on my lips because my lips are really dry. I just had to quickly remove that off my lips because I had a little bit of foundation on underneath. And where the foundation, Clarins foundation was a bit too heavy coverage, it wasn't budging from my lips. So I'm just trying the milk on my lips and actually, now I've cleaned my lips, they are, it's really nice, it's a really nice consistency, it's a really sweet balm. Okay, so I think I'm just going to carry on doing a tiny bit more on my cheeks, blend this in, and then I think this is done, but I really like this. I think this is a really good product to take on holiday, especially if you're not wearing any makeup or any foundation, it would be really nice just to take on holiday and wear just like if you're going down to the beach and you just want a bit more colour in your skin. That's really lovely. I will leave all these products down below so you can try these out. Next is bronzer. I need to bronze this face so badly. I feel so pale right now. Oh my god. So this is the Bare Minerals bronzer and I haven't tried this one I don't believe. This came when I did a campaign with Bare Minerals and I did it for their original foundation and I have done a video of that down below and also you'll see it on my Instagram. It's a really cool foundation and I will definitely be taking it to Spain with me because it's so easy and just so simple and you don't even have to look in a mirror. And it just blends so well and it's just such a good easy product to use. But I was sent the um, I was sent the bronzer and the highlighter so that's what I will be trying in this video. So I thought I would try this one. So this is the Bare Minerals Bronze and this is Endless Summer Bronze Warmth. That's a really nice colour and just really subtle. It's not too orange. Oh, that's good. <gasps> I love this. This is insane. Oh my god. I'm just going to take it over my forehead now. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with this shade. This is a really nice shade. I'm really impressed with all these products. Okay, so that is the bronzer. I love this bronzer. It's just so, it actually felt so like velvety applying it. It's really lovely. And it's gone in really well with the foundation and the blush. It's really, it's blended in really well. It wasn't pigmented like over pigmenting like it wasn't overpowering when applying so it was really nice to be able to blend it in and it's a softer application i just really love that oh so that was a quick try but that was um the bare minerals in the shade warmth endless summer bronzer that is gorgeous oh no i'm really happy with that Oh, I might take this on holiday with me as well. So the next product I am going to try out is this humongous, insane palette by Beauty Bay. This is Origin, it has 42 colours in it. And honestly, I've had a look at it already and tried one of the colours, but I really love the setup of this grid. If you're like me and you really struggle with eyeshadows and creating just insane like just being so good at it this is for you I usually stick to one eyeshadow because I just don't know where to start and I just don't know where to end so I just use a gold eyeshadow just to swipe over my eyes and it works for me I'm not gonna lie um, but I, I really want to try this out so I'm gonna run through this with you and then I'm gonna try it then choose which one I'm gonna go for so at the top you've got one two three four five six seven and going down it says on the side it says base transition crease liner pop highlight so it basically tells you the instructions of where to put it and helps you with the colors I mean that is such a good idea so if you want to go crazy if you wear like a really cute pink outfit you can go for number five and if you want to make it a bit more like bronze goddess you could go for number seven or number one or two if you're more of a pink I just think that's really cool okay so I think I'm gonna go for a bit mm. I want to go for a bronze goddess. Oh, oh I want to go for that one. Okay, well, I like these colours anyway, so I'm just going to go for it because I really like it. Um, so I'm going to go for number one, actually. So it's got this really nice, like, coppery gold, which is similar to the one that I use anyway. So it'd be really good to try this out and then 
if I get a bit more adventurous I'll do another video. My hand is such a mess, look at me. But yes, I'm going to try this out now. So first off you need a plain fluffy brush and you're going to go in with base. So it's this really nice creamy colour. The product drops a little bit. So I'm guessing for the base you just tap it all in. So my eyelids are all based up now. So I'm going to go in with transition. So I'm going to go in with another fluffy brush. So I'm going to go in with the transition colour now, which is this really nice, like, warm orange colour, which is this one. It's not overpigmented as well, which is quite nice. And then I'm going to go in with crease, so I'm going to go in with a smaller brush. So I'm going to go in with a little smaller fluffy brush and crease is this really nice like warm chocolate colour. And I'm guessing with crease you just start with the, the corner and drag it in. So that is, I've done base transition and crease mm. so next it says liner so I think I'm gonna go in with like a really easy short flat brush and it is this really nice like it's like a rich chocolate color it's really pretty so I'm just going to do like a smoke eyeliner I'm guessing that's what they want me to do myself this is such a good eyeshadow palette I also really like as well they're not crazy colors so it is actually really worth investing because they're all really like subtle eyeshadow looks but really glamorous I love it that's really nice I'm really happy with this knowing me I'll probably just stick to eyeshadow one <laughs> so I might go a little bit under my eye with the liner and I'm just gonna drag it under okay Pushing the bow out. And I'm going to probably go in with a tiny bit of transition just to warm it up. So next is Pop, which is the really nice rose gold copper colour. This one here. So to be fair, you could just leave it how it is, but obviously as I'm trying on this makeup, I'm going to give it a go. And I think I'm going to use a... So, sorry, I just had a phone call. So, let's try out the pop colour. So, I'm going to try this with my, my usual metallic eyeshadow brush. I'm going to really gently put it on so I don't ruin my eyeshadow look. You could probably make it a bit more stronger by using your fingertips because that will pick up the product more. But I don't want to do that because I'm happy the way it is. Oh, that is lovely. Do you know what? I feel like everyone should invest in a ring light because it does wonders for your makeup and it's so good. The other morning I had a 5am start. So I was doing makeup in pitch black and I had my little ring light on and it was so ideal and handy. Okay, so really happy with the eyes. I do have one more step and that is highlight and they've given me for the eyeshadow one is this really bright white one which I'm really excited about. I don't know how that's going to look. Because it's not even metallic either, it's quite matte so I'm going to do my eyebrows first. Oh, that's a really good eyebrow highlight. Oh, and I'm going to do it in the corner of my eyes. I think maybe the highlight for the eyes is probably one thing I would change up. I quite like a sparkly highlight colour. However, for the brow, that's actually quite, quite good. I think I prefer glittery in the corner. But I quite like that. I would recommend this palette. It'd be a good birthday present for sure. And as, as I said, they're like really good 
easy colours as well. So if you're like me and don't really like adventuring out. So, oh my god, you and your friends can do it, like at sleepovers. Someone could be doing number five, someone could be doing number one. I just think that's really cute. So I do a little close-up of these colours. Really nice, really nice, like neutral colours. So I'm going to put on some mascara. I'm just going to be using my normal mascara, so I'll do this off camera. So I've just put on my mascara. I'm really happy with the makeup so far and really enjoying these products. I think my favourite so far, actually, mm, I don't know what my favourite, but I'm really loving this. Okay, so next is lipstick. So I'm going to be using Lime Crime. So these are two of the products that I was sent. Oh god. Um, so this is like a summer lip gloss colour. You see that? And then this is their oh liquid matte lipstick. Oh, so complete different lip products. And this is in the shade Rustic. And yeah, now I'm gonna try these out. I don't know if they're gonna go well together, so maybe I'll just try the rustic one because the other one's like a little lip gloss. So I'll try this one out because I really love matte lipsticks. So this is what the product looks like. So cute. Okay, so I'm gonna try this on. I'm actually quite nervous. It's a really nice red as well, so that'd be quite cute. Really nice. Such a nice colour. Really nice to apply. So that is the Lime Crime in the shade Rustic. Really love this colour, it's a really subtle red. And especially if you're going to be wearing a red, I would 100% recommend wearing a matte because it will not smudge, it won't go, it won't go on your teeth. <laughs> um, but no, I really like that. Mm -hmm. So, final, last but not least, this is the Bare Minerals Highlighter. So this came out recently, I'd want to say maybe a month ago and I have the Endless Glow highlighter in the shade 3 and it comes in the classic oh, the classic packaging look at that I'm gonna get my highlighting brush this is really lovely it's like a really nice like champagne colour a bronze goddess highlighter for sure Put it on my collarbones because you know, might as well. Oh, that highlighter is lovely. Okay, I'm blown away. <laughs> that foundation, the highlight, maybe this is my colour and I just didn't realise. I'm not too sure. I really like it though. So that is it. So I really enjoyed this makeup and I'm really excited to try out these new products. Not too sure about, the only thing I'm not too sure about is probably the foundation colour, but I'm not gonna lie, I think that'll be it. Really enjoyed the different products. So this is quite a glam look in the end, which I didn't actually intend to go for, but I think it just works all together, goes really well together and I just think it's a really nice look. I really want to start making all these new makeup videos. I am not very a out there makeup person anyway when it comes to makeup so my makeup routines and videos will be quite subtle and more everyday and how I use them but I hope that would suit you as well because you'd be able to wear them more. I'm really happy with the overall outcome with all the products. I think all the products are so insane and actually they are all cruelty free and vegan. So that is something to definitely take on board as well. So yeah, so I will leave all the products down below. I hope you enjoyed this video guys and thank you so much for watching. Bye!